came to our doorstep. A humanitarian crisis showed up to Riverton Park United Methodist Church a year ago. We had moved all of our homeless folks into tiny homes and we were so excited we were out of the tent business until folks started arriving in Seattle. And Pastor Jan Bowler Jack kept her doors wide open. People started calling us saying, can you help these folks? They're sleeping on the street. And we got more and more and more and we found out there were asylum seekers. The number of asylum seekers has now climbed to 400, most fleeing violence and conflict from Venezuela, Angola and Congo. Folks have come here in very difficult situations and we need to see the humanity in that. The church has been working to give a stable place and teach them how to navigate their new community. We're just doing the best we can and, and putting a patchwork quilt together here as we work. And it's not, it's not enough. These folks deserve more. Bowler Jack had been working for months to get more resources and help. Last week, King County Council approved $3 million to pay for 100 hotel rooms. It's a great thing because now they get to be inside in hotels and not outside in the cold and the rain. And while there, some families experiencing milestones. Moises got here when he was just barely one year old and learn to walk here on this property. Over the course of the year, Bowler Jack has learned about the obstacles, barriers, and trauma these families have endured. Once we look at the resiliency of these people and what they're doing and how they're making it work, uh, you can't help but want to take them in and want to help because they're just such assets to our community. The church says they can always use blankets, hand warmers and donations to help with the day to day costs that have skyrocketed. In Tequila, Julie Calhoun, King 5.